<laughs> All right. We're going to talk about grace notes now, or ghost notes. These are like the little, tiny, very soft hits on the snare or hi-hat or ride cymbal that basically set up the groove. You have the basic beat, which is maybe boom, bap, boom, bap. But in between that, you have all these little notes, little dynamics. And these create the feel and uh, the groove. And I'm going to give you a couple exercises that will help you to work on grace notes. And then you can apply them. These are things like, in Mr. Big Music, Fool Us Today has some grace notes in it. And Mr. Gone, a couple examples. Uh, the first exercise I'll show you is real simple. Um, and it's basically just uh, eighth notes between the hi-hat and snare, and then with the backbeat. Very simple. Here's how it goes. One, two, three, four. Now, in that example, you can see all I'm doing is basically playing very soft with my left hand on the snare. But it gives this kind of a motion, the forward motion, and it sets up a groove. Um, another uh, way I can kind of expand on that is I'll give you an example with that same kind of thing. But then I'll go into the Fool Us Today groove, which basically puts a triplet on the left hand on the snare. So I'll start with the first example, just playing what I just did, and then I'll go into Fool Us Today, and you can see how it all works. OK? One, two, three, four. Now, I got a little more elaborate with the bass drum a couple times, but that's the basic, that's how you start. So you can see how that changed the feel of the groove when I started doing the triplets with the left hand. All right, the third example I want to show you, it's a little more advanced, and it's something that's been really important in my development um, with grooves and grace notes and feels, and I use it all the time in many, many different ways in Mr. Big music and jazz and Latin and rock and roll. And simply, this is how you start it. Uh, I'll show you what the bass drum does, and then I'll show you what the left hand does. This is where to start. First bass drum. One, two, three, four. OK. Now the left hand plays opposite the bass drum. They don't hit at the same time. Uh, except you accent the backbeat. And together, they sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now, once you get that down, you, you feel comfortable with that, then you add in your right hand by playing quarter notes or uh, eighth notes. Uh, you add the hi-hat. And I'll, I'll play a couple bars uh, just to give you an example of how this all works. This is how it all sounds together. One, two, three, four. Now, as you can see, there's many variations. You could do a lot of different things. And I even kind of took it into halftime a little bit. Uh, but once you get the thing down between the bass drum and the left hand, the world is yours. A universe of ideas opens up. Really? <laughs>
first thing I want to do is, is Billy and I are going to show you some, um, just some examples of how grace notes can be used within a song. Uh, Billy and I are the rhythm section of Mr. Big. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of temperamental um, and Mr. Gone, which kind of show how, what you can develop into with grace notes. Uh -huh. 